In all my previous Cursed Weapons videos, you've seen me create absolutely mind-boggingly cursed weird brain cell depleting weapons but those videos usually come with an intro, the explanation, the lore. Most of you like that, but some people don't. Some people want just the weapons. That's who this video is for. In this video, you'll see me create cursed weapons for one hour straight. Enjoy. This is a weapon mixer 7000. What this does is you choose two or more weapons you want from this panel. Then you press this combine button and out comes a combined weapon. So just as an example, let's choose an op and a PP bison. And if we combine both of these weapons, out comes an OPP. OPP. Not a great gun, I'll be honest with you. It suffers from a major projectile dysfunction. The base is great though, it's an op with an extra bison magazine, and it has a fire rate of PP bison. It shoots off bullets that fast, but you can't really aim anywhere, because the barrel is very flaccid. It's dangerous, you can hit your feet, your friends, or any of your surroundings. And also, like, it doesn't even shoot the whole mag as well. Like the last couple of bullets, you have to really wiggle the barrel to get them out of there. And even then, when you think you are done shooting, it still drips out some of it, so there's that. It does get stiff though, uh, sometimes, especially if you're aiming at like a female player model. And But now even then, it's hard to aim because now it just points up, so you can't really use... Uh, oh, no, 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 Jessica, wait, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, and now that she's gone, it's back to being flaccid. We should really apologize to her and tell her this is not what it looks like. Hey, 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 hey. All right, for the next weapon, let's choose a Navaginite. And a deagle, and if we press the combine button, out comes Navagigal. Navagigal. Unlike the OPP, I don't know much about this one. Looking at it, it's a deagle that has like one hole that it shoots out of, and it's surrounded by a couple of Navagin knives. I've heard that they move around, and the shape of it varies from Navagigal to Navagigal. And also, I've heard that this gun can be a bit more vocal than the OPP. Like when you shoot it apart from the shooting sounds, it makes. This sounds? <laughs> I'm sorry about this one. <laughs> also another thing, like every guy that I know that has used this weapon can't explain why this happens, but like every 7 bullets out of 30 just come out painted red for some reason. And during those 7 bullets, the gun gets pretty unstable, so we, we can't figure out why that happens. So if you own this one, just type in the comments. And let us know, just any info would be great. Oh, and the Vagical actually comes with an accessory. Like, we have a he grenade already, right? Like, why? If we take the he grenade, and then we combine it with a, a rib and a lipstick, and we press the combine button, out comes a she grenade. Way more powerful than a he grenade, but very hard to get it off. The pin, I mean. You need a special technique. Like, you hold it with your left hand, right? Then you use two fingers from your right hand to pull on the pin and then you just push it back and forth as fast as you can until the thing pops and then you have like a, under a second to take cover until it just explodes and it makes a complete mess uh... or it doesn't um it's not that easy it also depends if it's in the mood or okay for the next one let's choose m4 a p90 a couple of silver ranks from this custom items panel Definitely a global elite and a potato microphone. And if we combine all of these, out comes a salt rifle. A salt rifle. Non lethal. Completely useless if you want to kill someone. Doesn't even shoot real bullets, but it's loaded with a lot of salt. And at the end of the barrel, it has a megaphone instead of a suppressor. So what you do is you just aim at a person, and when you pull the trigger, it just starts being. So loud! It makes a lot of sound. And, and when you run out of salt, you just replace your salt magazine and then you can just continue being loud. <laughs> this one actually might remind you of a similar one I made M4A1V. It actually had a vodka bottle instead of a suppressor. Bleed, bleed, suka. 
Peter, нахуй, нахуй. So just as an example, if we choose an AK-47 and a butterfly knife, which is known for its flexibility, and if we press the combine button, out comes AK Ordian. AK Ordian has its highs and lows. Let's start from the positives. It's very flexible. That gives you a great advantage around the corners, around the bends. And if your team is losing and you want to cheer them up during the freeze times, you can use it for that too. But nothing in this world is too perfect. That's why this gun also comes with downsides. Unlike your partner, this gun makes noise every time you move. That makes you easily spotable for the enemies. And also, the recoil is hard to manage. If you're not holding the front of the weapon with the same death grip strategy you master stroke yourself with, you're gonna get hurt. But if you watch these kind of videos, you should be just fine. <laughs> Alright, for the next one, I actually found a bug in this machine. So, for example, if I choose an op, and then I restart the game with a command, MP restart game 1, and then I choose the op again, and then I restart the game again, and I choose the op one last time, and then I press the combine button, out comes... a telescope. Telescope. 69,420x magnification ultra long range weapon this one can see far beyond your not so bright future this weapon has a very specific use though can't be used on everyday maps for example if you aim at a person that is not at least 380,000 kilometers away all you'll see are just germs on his disgusting non-moisturized skin as you can see these are wait these aren't germs? Yeah! But if you aim somewhere far, for example, the moon, you'll clearly see the Hollywood uh, the astronauts roaming around freely. Wh Tom? Ma Major Tom? Did you just shoot him? Tom! This video was recorded prior to the invention of gravity by Sir Isaac Newton in 1666. A lot of you who are familiar with cryptocurrencies will have noticed how Bitcoin started increasing in the price again, but it's still not very stable with constant up and downs. And because of this, our very supportive sponsor Rollbit wanted me to focus on a specific feature they offer on their site called Crypto Futures. If you can guess if the price will go up or down, you can obviously make profit. But what differentiates this from just buying Bitcoin is the multiplier. You can choose how risky you want the bet to be. Higher the risk, more the payout. It can go up to 1000x, but the risk is quite manageable because you can automatically set how much loss or profit you're willing to take. For example, I have $100. Right now, this is the Bitcoin price and I think it's gonna go down today. I don't wanna lose more than 20 bucks, so I'll put that in so it automatically stops it if the price goes the other way. I'll put the multiplier at a bit risky at 50x. I'll press place bet and now we wait. All right, it's been a few minutes. The price went down, so we have a bit of a profit. I could cash out now or wait a bit to see if the price will go down even more. The choice is entirely up to me. Simple, straightforward and very well designed by Rollbit. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks to Rollbit for the sponsorship. And let's move on to the final weapon. Alright, for the next one I'm feeling a Molotov. And if we choose a sawed-off shotgun and if we combine that, out comes... A pump-off. Pump-off. As intimidating as it looks, it's actually non-lethal. It has a gas canister on top and a pressure gauge on the side. And to charge it, you just pump it off. Should be a familiar motion to you, especially if you're subscribed to this channel. And when the pressure reaches the maximum, you just aim precisely at your enemy, and then you just pull the trigger. But it doesn't kill them, it just burns their clothes off. Hence the name, Pump Off. I guess if you want to humiliate your enemy, this is the weapon you go for. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, for this one, before we choose the weapons, I have to mention that this panel is used for custom items. You can put here anything you can find on the map. For example, if we come to this board, one of the items says spaghetti. 
And if we go above on the building and go inside this room, we can see the spaghetti on the table. So if we put that on the panel and then choose the spaghetti and then choose the Mac 10, then if we combine both of these outcomes... Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Cursed, but very useful actually. Has four separate spaghetti tech trademark barrels that can move to any direction you desire. You can whack multiple enemies at once, but what you shoot at the enemies aren't bullets. This weapon is loaded with... Pasta. Easily accessible in Italy. That's why this weapon is very popular in the rough neighborhoods of Italy. Also known as... The Spaghettos. I'm in the Spaghetto! Pasta! Pasta! All right, for the first one, let's go with something small, as I said, so a default knife would be a good base. Let's combine that with something silent, like an USPS, and something with a scope, so an op. And that foregrip will come in handy from the UMP. And if we press the combine button, out comes a tactical silenced knife, also known as... Might seem ridiculous to you. But there's more to this weapon than you think. What happens when you knife someone in CSGO? Their screen goes red. Their health goes down. Knife makes a swinging sound. And the blood sound is weirdly sexual. All those problems are eliminated with a silenced knife. The swinging sounds are absorbed by the silencer and not only that, the silencer itself is loaded with a special serum that when you stab someone, completely numbs the stab area, making it impossible for the enemy to detect or feel a stab. It also comes with a scope for long-range stabbings, a bipod for stable stabbings, But if you are the type of person that prefers damage over the peace and quiet, then the tactical silence knife also comes with a bayonet attachment. Double the knife, double the damage. One of the most underrated weapons that have ever been created by the weapon. Why stop on a knife? Let's choose a grenade now as a base and combine it with a USPS and the op. And if we press the combine button, out comes the silenced grenade. What happens when it No, James! No, 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 no! What happens when you throw a grenade? It makes a ground hitting sound and it makes a huge explosion sound that can be heard from all over the map. Not anymore. The silenced grenade takes care of all those problems, completely eradicates both the ground hitting and the explosion sounds, and the explosive material is also filled with the same serum as the silenced knife. No one will feel a thing. Of course, it also comes with a scope. The silenced grenade is so effective, they don't even know it yet, that they are dead. Oh, oh, oh. Insanely effective against groups... <laughs> Alright, let's go back to big weapons now. Let's go with M4 as a base, and then let's choose the least reliable weapons that are on this panel. Least reliable in real life, and we gotta start with a Tech 9, known to be very unreliable. Next one, Mac 10, a submachine gun, jams sometimes, an automatic CZ, which can also jam, a taser, useless against someone with clothes, and a Molotov, for obvious reasons. And if we combine all of these, out comes the M4M. M4M, created by one of the most beloved vehicle companies out there. Now this is a cool gun. Comes with a twin exhaust liquid-cooled barrel to eliminate overheating and recoil, adapt to flashlights that shine the light right in the enemy's eyes, a twin turbocharged magazine uses gunpowder fumes to spool up the turbos which feed the chamber faster, giving the weapon a much higher fire rate and a sweet sound. <laughs> oh man, a true car guy's weapon. But it does come with a cost. First of all, the headlights are too bright. 
Yes, it will blind the enemy, but it will annoy your teammates too. Because the weapon has an auto tailgate mode that can't be turned off. Whenever it sees a teammate, it just pushes you as close behind them as possible while the headlights are on. A classic behavior from all the people that use this vehicle brand. Turbocharged magazines. Great idea, but turbos usually need some time to spool up. And that's why the gun doesn't fire exactly when you pull the trigger. You have to hold it for a few seconds and then the power comes on abruptly. <laughs> Liquid cooled barrel. Also a great idea, but the pump that controls the liquid is made out of plastic. It cracks and breaks after only 5,000 rounds and costs about $200,000 to replace. Twin exhausts that point up to reduce recoil. A fantastic idea, but some people modify them and they make them sound like... <laughs> Those are tolerable. The main problem is that the gun requires a lot of oil to operate smoothly. It burns oil when you shoot it and sometimes it even leaks it out every leaves marks. You can slip and fall on it. Enemies can find your trail. USA might show up. And not only it's already heavy, you have to carry around extra liters of oil on your back for emergencies. And trust me, there will be emergencies. M4M. Brilliant, but unreliable and hard to maintain. I'll take three. I don't give a f Let me hear it again, please! <laughs> and for the final weapon, let's go with something mellow. What if we take an AUG as a base and combine it with an SG-553? Very similar weapons, and if we combine both outcomes... Binoculars. Binoculars. Why have a scope? For only one eye when we have two. We shouldn't have to close one eye to aim at something. That's the main problem binoculars proudly tackles. Aiming with both eyes open relaxes your facial muscles and gives you a better peripheral vision. But as Kanye West once said, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Any change in the design comes with its flaws and you can clearly see it to use the weapon properly, you have to hold it in a different way. Between your eyes, in the center of your body, using your chest and your throat as the support, and you have to put your chin directly on these... directly on the stock of the weapon. It's comfortable and works flawlessly, until you decide to fire. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. No. no, 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 not you, no! Ah! So in the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, I created weapons that looked normal. This one though, I wanna start with by making something we've never seen before. So let's choose a glove from the left panel and an USPS from the main panel. And if we press the combine button, out comes the finger pistol. The finger pistol, also known as the fistol, is one of the best. Wait, fistol? I think that's a different thing. That's a different thing. A finger pistol. One of the most widely used weapons in the history of humanity. A childhood dream come true. A pistol integrated surgically into your hand. Index finger used as the barrel of the weapon and the rest of the fingers holding the wireless magazine. Just point your finger where you want to shoot and that's where the pistol will fire. But given how odd of a weapon it is, how do you pull the trigger, you might ask? Well, you don't. All you have to do is emit one of the many internationally accepted gun sounds with your mouth. Such as... Or... Blaka blaka! Or... Pew, 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 or many others. And the weapon will fire. As demonstrated by... A <gasps> oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's create something else now. For this one, let's use the right panel. This panel allows you to combine weapons with the items you can find on the map. For example, let's choose that rope that's right next to the well. We just pick it up and let's bring it back and put it on the right panel. Then we select it and let's choose Negev. 
And if we press the combine button, out comes... Trebuchev. There are a lot of different weapons in CSGO. Machine guns, rifles, sniper rifles, knives, grenades, so many items to kill your enemies with. But never once has a human body been used to deal damage. That's the part where Trebuchev innovates. Wind up the barrel so it has tension, hold tightly to the handle, and just pull the trigger. Can be used as a means of transportation to get you from A to B, literally. Or you can just launch yourself at someone and before they even realize what is coming at them, you'd already be teabagging their face. It can be used as a trap weapon too. If enemy doesn't know what this is, picks it up and pulls the trigger while aiming at a wall, they'll be in a lot of trouble. It's a very versatile weapon, has many uses, but this is my favorite one. Have you guys ever heard of a C4 Jeep from Battlefield? <laughs> All right, next one, let's start with C4, which we've never done before. And let's combine it with all the silenced weapons that are on the panel, USBS, M4, and an MP5 ST. And if we press the combine button, out comes the silenced C4. Silenced C4, it's no, no, James, no! Oh, you fat motherfucker! Silenced C4. You've seen me create silenced weapons in the previous video. Silenced knife, silenced grenade. Yes, they were powerful, but none of them have as much impact as the silenced C4. See, silenced C4 threatens the whole meaning of what this game is about. No longer having the ability to hear when the bomb is planted, where it's located and how much time you have until it goes off destroys the whole objective of the game. This one black tube has the power to take down a multi-million dollar franchise. And it comes in different sizes as well, and all of them are color-coded, depending on the intensity of the silencing. The biggest one is black, as you can see here. Then we have the medium-sized one, which is white, and we also have a compact small one, which is yellow. Up to you which one you want to use, but it's widely accepted that once you use the black, you won't look back. I'll actually show you how- NO! And for the final weapon, we're gonna be using this right panel again. Do you guys remember this old computer room on Inferno? You can't go in it, but you can see the old computer, the keyboard, some fries and drinks on the table. But if you look closely, on the right, there is a weird looking item on the table as well. No one actually knows what that is. It looks like something from Men in Black. So we're gonna pick this item up, we're gonna put it on the panel, we'll select it, and... Let's combine it with the op, and let's see what happens. So if we press the combine button, out comes... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? What? Oh. 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 Does it, does it do anything? It does nothing? What do you mean it does nothing? I mean, it's, it's small, but it, that, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you can't use it? Well, um, it All right, so usually when I do these, guys, I create the weapon first, then I test it thoroughly to see what the weapon does. Then I write a script and then I do a review for you guys. But we could not do any of that with this one. In fact, we can't figure out what this weapon does. We try to shoot it, but the trigger guard is so small, we can't get a finger in there. And there's nothing in CSGO that small to pull the trigger with. Another... Hey, 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 man! We try to shake it. Nothing. We try to look through the tiny scope. Nothing. We even try to do magic spells with it. Still nothing. So, I don't know guys, sorry to disappoint you. This one, I think we'll just have to put it back. I guess the size does matter. 
unfortunately. Also, the machine might have malfunctioned and maybe... Wait, hold on. What is, that a, is that a toothpick in your mouth? Can you try to pull the trigger with that? Dude, that actually might work. You just put it in there. Put, yeah, in the hole. All right, now push it. P push it in. Push your little thing in. In the hole. Not too hard. Oh! Alright, for the first one, we plan to make something serious, so let's go and use Op as a base, and let's combine it with all the silenced weapons that are in CSGO, like MP5 SD, USPS, and an M4A1S, and if we press the combine button, out comes a fully silenced Op. When people hear the word silenced, all they think of is a long black tube at the tip of the weapon. But besides shooting, the gun makes a lot of other noises that can be heard by the enemy. In this specific instance, the AWP makes a loud shooting sound, of course, but it also makes a scoping sound, a bolt clink clank sound, a magazine reload sound, And if you shoot and miss, it also makes a bullet hitting the wall sound. These are really loud. That's why the fully silenced op takes care of all those problems. The shooting sound is eliminated by a normal silencer. The scoping sound is eliminated by a scope silencer. Clink-clank sounds are eliminated by a bolt silencer. And the reload sounds are eliminated by a magazine silence. Which also acts as a foregrip for the better stability of the... What? No, no, James, stop, stop it! And not only that, loading a bullet in an empty magazine and also bullet hitting the wall sounds are both eliminated with silenced bullets. And no, I don't mean subsonic ammo, literally silenced bullets a fully silenced op one of the stealthiest weapons to ever exist in the history of no james stop but what is the worth of a silenced weapon if an enemy can hear you walking and that's why the silenced boots are also included in the kit but if you really want to go next level and eliminate even the sound of you breathing, a fully silenced mask is also included in the kit. Not only it silences your breathing, but it also cleans the air from any pull. James? It's a mask. No, 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 no! no! Alright, for the next one, let's use this right panel that allows you to combine custom items with the rest of the weapons. For that, we're gonna go to this location and just pick the whole door from its frame. And let's put it on this panel. Let's choose it first. And let's combine it with the op again. And let's give it a bit of electricity with a taser. And if we press the combine button, out comes... The door is stuck. The door is stuck. One of the most iconic moments in CSGO turned into a weapon. In many other games, there are weapons that you can shoot or throw at your enemy that will make them freeze in one spot. Weapons that disable enemies' movements. CSGO has never had that kind of a weapon. Until now. The door is stuck is made of a car battery which using the jump leads powers a modified EV op, which instead of the barrel is fitted with a powerful electromagnet. And using this magnet, you can aim and launch this door at any direction you desire. So you find an unsuspected victim, you aim the whole door at the person, you make sure the jump leads are firmly connected, and then you just pull the trigger. Door stuck! Door stuck! Please! 
you can see the enemy is stuck in one place, unable to move anyway. I bet you! You're genuine dick fucker! They are a sitting duck, just waiting to be finished off. The door is stuck, a truly remarkable weapon. Alright guys, cut, cut, that's a good take, please, let's get Bob out of here, please. Can someone help me with the door, it's kinda glitchy. Uh, James, can you give me a hand here, bud? Just hold the handle down for two seconds, I'll be able to push him through, uh, out of the- what, 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 no, no, James, stop! Alright, for the next one, let's take the dual Berettas and combine them with the butt plugs. And if we press the combine button, out comes... The dual doll. Dual doll. A weapon that allows the butt plug to finally serve the purpose it was made for. A weapon that has been approved by 99% of proctologists. Have you guys ever heard of Yondu's arrow from the Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, this has a similar mechanism. The weapon is loaded with a single shot arrow that has the butt plug as the tip. You hold it with both hands and to shoot it, all you have to do is think about the enemy and whistle. But instead of the heart, the weapon will always aim for the enemy's anus. It works from short distance while facing the enemy. <whistles> anus. We're using the mannequin for obvious reasons. It works from any other orientation while even not facing the enemy. <whistles> anus. From any elevation. <whistles> anus. And any distance. If you've seen the enemy once, this weapon will not stop chasing the person until it gets to its an- Oh no, 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 James! What are you, what are you doing, dude? Hey, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh. A lot of you guys have been asking me to combine all the weapons that are on the panel together and press the combine button. My gut is telling me that is a bad idea. So instead, let's do a mini version of that. Let's combine all the grenades together and let's see what happens. So let's get started here with the decoy, the flashbang, the smoke grenade, incendiary grenade, and an HE grenade. And if we press the combine button, out comes... The Erection. We already have a very deadly explosive in CSGO, it's C4. But C4, as soon as it explodes, kills everyone instantly in the vicinity. But not Erection. Erection wants to make you suffer. The structure of the weapon is highly ergonomic and balanced in the hand. You guys should already be natural at holding this. Two HE grenades on the bottom store the main explosive load, and the middle is just a shaft made out of other grenades. The tip though is what you have to grab and pull to initiate the explosion. When you throw the weapon, two HE grenades go off first instantly to maximize the damage. Then the flashbang explodes, blinding anyone that might have survived the blast. Immediately after, a huge puff of smoke deploys in the middle to disorientate an already blinded enemy. And just so they don't run away in any direction blindly, a huge ring of fire will be deployed all around the edges of the smoke. Where the smoke ends, the fire begins. So if they try to escape, they'll inevitably end up burning alive. A truly torturous and a deadly weapon. Let's blow it up. So what you do is you hold it upside down and prepare to throw it. Then you just pull the pin out from the tip and then you throw it in three, two, one! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Behold the erection! What? No, James? No. Stop, James! Stop!
In the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, we created a lot of guns just for fun. Some of them really powerful. Some of them were just funny. But never once have we made a gun that serves a real purpose. So, in this video, I want to tackle a real problem that comes with firearms and solve it using this machine. The Weapon Mixer 7000. What's the biggest problem with any type of firearm out there? Is it the muzzle flash? Is it recoil? Overheating? Yes, those are real issues, but the biggest is magazine capacity. Bullets run out quickly, and it takes time and energy to reload and carry additional bullets. So, let's create a weapon that solves that problem. A weapon that never needs to be reloaded. Oh, and if you are new, this is a Weapon Mixer 7000. So basically what it does is you choose two or more weapons from the panel, then you press the combine button and out comes a combined weapon. To learn how to activate this machine, go watch my previous video. The sequence is still the same for now. For the first one, let's take AK-47 as the base, and now let's combine it with the highest magazine capacity weapons on the panel. First one would be M249, after that Negev, next would be PP Bison, and finally P90. And if we press the combine button, out comes... A K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K More than 3,000 bullets distributed in over 100 magazines, which are mechanically attached to one another. This gives you superior firepower in the palm of your hands, with minimal reload time. The sheer weight of these magazines and bullets guarantee unbeatable accuracy and zero recoil. And I mean absolute zero recoil. Gone are the days when you had to worry about running out of ammo. AKKKKKK. Such a simple solution to a complex problem. Or is it? First of all, it's not a compact gun. <gasps> the length of it becomes a problem sometimes. Alright boys, this is a plan. I go here alone. You guys call the banana, I will make them think this is a rush. But when I give you the signal, you guys go rush me. Guys? It becomes a problem many times actually. Especially when you're trying to enter narrow doorways. <laughs> It's hard to look inconspicuous as well while you're trying to peek the corners. And if you're using the first or the last mags, it becomes incredibly difficult to balance the weapon upright. This interferes with your movement speed and agility as well. Severely interferes. AKKKKKK. Not a bad solution, but I think we can do better. Alright, let's do something more creative now. Let's take AK as a base again, and let's combine it with the taser. This should make the weapon electric, or at least partially. And if we press the combine button, out comes the wireless AK. Did you really think that the development of the James Webb Telescope project was that expensive and took that long just to look at some galaxies? No. The wireless AK entirely eliminates the need for carrying magazines or any physical bullets on you. Because all the bullets this weapon shoots are streamed straight to its chamber through the cloud. Yes, you heard me. The cloud. And this is our server. So this is what you do. First, you gotta connect the magazines to the computer with the USB cable. Then, you open the highly classified Wi-Fi bullets.exe software. You didn't hear this from me. You choose your preferred weapon, in this case AK-47, make sure the router is firmly connected to the PC as well, and then you just press enter. And that's it! Now we are connected, and you'll see the light turn green on the weapon as well. And now it's ready to fire... wirelessly. I know this sounds like bullshit, but it shoots just like a normal AK, without a magazine or any real bullets anywhere close to the gun. 
Oh, and the fire rate is much higher too, because the bolt does not need to come back to pick up another round. The bullets run out here, on the base station, and they seamlessly transition through the mags, so you never have to reload. If you do run out though, your friends can transfer you bullets wirelessly, or you watch a few ads and like 10 more bullets will be sent to you for free. Highly ergonomic, higher fire rate, no need for reloads, no extra weight, the wireless AK. A perfect solution to our problem. Or so it would be, if not for the existence of latency. If you are far away from the base station, you might experience lag, and that's not what you really want when an enemy is trying to kill you. When you try to shoot the weapon, the bullets might come out late, bullets might come out pixelated, they might come out buffering, or sometimes they might not even come out at all. This can get really dangerous for you, especially if you have a lag spike while running and shooting at the same time. Many other issues too. The computer might get hacked, the servers might be down, a cat might sit on the keyboard, You really thought I was gonna explode again. But the worst thing is, if latency gets really bad, sometimes the system crashes, and instead of bullets, the computer starts streaming your personal files straight to the web. Alright, for this weapon, let's use the same glitch that we used to create the telescope in the previous video. So what you do is let's choose the AK-47 as a base again, and now we restart the map. We choose the AK again, we restart the map one more time, we choose the AK again, we press the combine button, and out comes... The AK-4 Infinity. Over 2,000 rounds looping seamlessly in a single magazine. AK-4 Infinity. No more reloads. No worrying about running out of ammo. You'll need to attach the magazine only once in the beginning of the match and it will last you throughout the whole game. The barrel of your AK will melt down before this magazine runs out. But it's not an easy weapon to master. As you can see, the balance is off. It's right heavy, so you'll need an enormous grip strength on your hand and wrist to hold this weapon steadily. But if you're subscribed to my channel and you made it this far into the video, you know your wrists are ready. <laughs> But we still have the issue of practicality. Just like the AKKKK, you might accidentally knock your teammates over. Guys, anyone here? Or you might knock them out cold. It also can get stuck on nearby objects. But unlike the AKKKK, your teammates might get stuck inside the mag. And now you have to carry additional weight, which is a drag. Corner peeking is improved though. It won't be a problem as long as you're peeking to the left. But the biggest problem is the torque the spring inside produces. This only happens during a full auto though, when the bullets deplete and the base of the spring pushes the bullets up the loop towards the weapon and into the chamber. The torque generated by that puts a tremendous rotating force on the weapon itself. And if you don't let go, it might break your wrist or worse. So. Don't do full auto on the whole magazine. We'll demonstrate what can happen now, but he'll stop firing right when it's about to get really, really bad. All right, full auto test on AK-4 Infinity in three, two, one. As you can see, it's normal for now, but as you can see, the vibrations are increasing incrementally, and they add up, and now, now would be a good time to let go. Now, no, 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 Brian, Brian. No, 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 Brian. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god, no no! Ryan, let's go of the gun! Let's go of the gun! Ryan! No 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 no! Shit in me! 
away with it! In the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, all the guns that we made using the weapon mixer machine were normal sized. <laughs> Only some of them were small. Average. But none of them have ever been truly big until now. And I'm saying that because as I was checking the weapon mixer today, I noticed something unusual. A very big, big button on the side of it. There has been an update. We're gonna be testing out this new button in this video and we'll see how it affects the size and function of the weapons. Oh, and if you are new, this is a weapon mixer 7000. So basically what it does is you choose two or more weapons from the panel, then you press the combine button and out comes a combined weapon. To learn how to activate this machine, go watch episode 5. The sequence is still the same for now. Alright, let's start with something simple, like a hand grenade. Now, if we press the big button, and then the combine button, out will come a weapon that's too big for the table. The big grenade. This is Fat Man, a nuclear b dropped by United States on Hiroshima during World War 2. And this is Big Grenade. A grenade so big, it takes four full-grown men to operate it. One to pull the pin, the second one to load the grenade onto the remaining two men. And then those two men throw the grenade towards other men or any other target. No nuclear fission, no uranium or plutonium, no complex chemical reactions, no even more complex launch procedures, just BOMB. We'll demonstrate how to throw it now. Remember, time is of the essence, so this has to happen very quickly. First, this guy will pull the pin. Once he does that, the second guy is going Oh. Alright, let's try something else. Alright, let's try this button on firearms now. Let's choose the op from the panel. And if we press the big button, and then the combine button, out will come... The big scope. I thought the telescope that we created in one of the previous videos was the highest zooming weapon we could create with this machine. It zoomed in so much you could actually see the germs on the enemy's face. These aren't germs! Yeah! But then I came across the big scope. Much like my viewers, I am not good with things that are too big. I'm more experienced with stuff that are usually not big enough. That's why it took me a while to learn how to use this weapon properly. The op itself has increased drastically in size and now shoots bullets that are 100 caliber. But the biggest change for some reason is the scope. In fact, it's so big, you can't even look through it if you're holding it. That's why there's a second, smaller scope in front of the shooter to actually see where you are aiming. But what's the purpose of the big scope, then you ask? No professional sniper ever goes out without a spotter. That's who the main scope is for. Instead of the huge binoculars they usually carry, your spotter now becomes the part of the weapon, directly communicating and giving you correct information. But still, the telescope was compact and could see as far as the moon. So why this? Well, I left out the most important part. The magnification power on Big Scope is so much that it actually breaks through the space-time continuum detecting matter using light from the future. It's a time machine. But you can't go through or interact with it. You can only watch. Not only that, if you look through the other way, it zooms out so much that you can actually see the past. It's insane. One of the craziest weapons that have come out from the mixer machine. Alright, for the next weapon, let's try to... 
<laughs> you really thought I wasn't gonna look through the scopes and show you what I saw? What kind of crappy channel you think this is? All right, let's go see the future. I wanna see what's up. Maybe everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, the scope now is set up in a way that it should show us this area just a few years into the future. But that can be adjusted, of course. All right, let's see what's up. All right, let's adjust the focus. Whoa. expected worse to be honest i guess i could tolerate the modern day living conditions of eastern europe it doesn't look that bad yeah everything is yellow and gloomy but i bet we could find someone that's having fun there's a building right there with some light coming out of it so there's gotta be people so let's go look around let's go look in some windows see, see there's a guy right there see it has a nice fireplace going probably a romantic dinner or a birthday with his loved ones based on his movements he's probably dancing <laughs> Fireworks! So it is his birthday! Alright, let's not bother that guy anymore. Let's see, find someone else. There's gotta be some. What? Thought I saw something there. What? Am I seeing stuff or what? Alright, let's go check the level below. There's gotta be. See? There's a guy that's, that's hanging, hanging, hanging out around. <coughs> uh, what? You know what it is? It, the roof is where the party's at. So let's go on the roof. There's a nice view. It's gotta be a lot of young people. They like to hang out, have a drink, full of life, and... It, it Base jumping. Overall, I mean, I grew up in Eastern Europe, so this is what every day looked like, pretty much. So it's fine, as long as there's breathable air. <laughs> Actually, that's... <laughs> Maybe let's try looking in the past? We are in old town in Italy? There's no way anything bad can be happening here, right? Alright, let's see what's up in Italy. Alright, let's focus the lens. I already hear music. Oh my god, it's so much better! You see, there's two guys already dancing. There's music going on. Dude, it's so much better than the future. Alright, you see? You see two guys standing there? They're having a blast! Italian flag! Oh, that, that's it! That, that's... What? Huh? You can see me? You can see me? So you can go through it! Dude, set the, set the date exactly, exactly on January 2009! Oh my god! Alright, we got this. Didn't miss anything important? Everything's here? Alright, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Ah, my back! Oh, my back! Alright, let, let's do one more. So I had a thought. What would happen if we make a silenced weapon bigger? Is it gonna silence the weapon more? Or is it gonna be louder? Let's test it out. Let's take a loud weapon, like a revolver, and combine it with something with a suppressor. And if we press the big button and the combined button, out will come... The big silencer? Holy sh**! It's so big and black. All the big went towards the silencer. The weapon is still the same, but the gigantic size of it is the least weird part about this weapon. After examining it for a bit to see what's it made of, we found out that if you try to look through it, your view will be blocked by this unidentified dark matter. Not even the light can go through. Occasionally you'll hear some odd sounds coming out of it too. It also gets a bit chilly when you get close, and whatever goes inside does not come back. We tested this. It's like a border between realities or something. If you feel something, just let it go. Don't touch it. We just want to know if it's even hollow inside or not. I don't know. What? What? No, 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 no. But the question is, does it work as a silencer? So let's test it out. Test number one, big silencer attached to a revolver in three, two, one. Did that fire? In three, two, one. What? 
Does the gun work? Let's take this off for a second. No, 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 no! Are you sure the gun works? Have you looked in the cylinder? Is it even open? Ah, 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 my back! My back! <laughs> Can you try lowering it a bit? Maybe it's the fog that's not letting the, the bullet come out of the barrel. Oh, motherfucker. So it shoots. There's no way it makes no sound. We need something bigger. Test number two, big silencer on a fully automatic machine gun in three, two, one. There's no way. There's zero sound, no recoil, no tracers, no smoke, no nothing. It's completely still. What the f Can you lower it a bit so we can see it actually hitting that truck over there? I'll stand back this time. Maybe we can actually see it hit something, if it's even effective or not. Ah, 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 my back, ah, my back. This is it, guys. What you're hearing now is the sound of a fully automatic machine gun being fired with a big silencer attachment. It completely suppresses the sound, completely removes the recoil and the muzzle flash, and it compl- What is this? Did these arrows come out of the- What the f*** is going on in there? I gotta go in. I don't care. I don't care if it kills me. I have to know. I have to know what's inside. Alright, here we go. Where could this possibly lead to? Keep it still and don't shoot! It's so cold. Where the fuck does this go? You. Huh? You were trying to cross the border, right? No. Walk right no. The Imperial no, it can't be this shit. It can't be this shit.